Hey everybody, welcome to my reshade showcase for Assassin's Creed 3. I've got another two presets to show you guys today. The first stays true to the original art direction of the game, but just takes a few of the colors and details and punches them out. The game also suffers from some really, really dark darks, so I've tried to combat that and lighten those up a bit. I've also saturated the warm tones, so the sunrise and sunset should be a little more impactful. The second preset is quite a lot more desaturated, but a lot more even. It's kind of given me some Red Dead Redemption 2 vibes, to be honest. And this is the one that I'm going to be using for my full playthrough. For anybody that's new here, welcome to the channel. I'm Haz. I'm a full-time streamer now, but I did work for almost 18 years in the film and games industry as an artist, and ultimately worked my way up to being a character art director. I've worked on too many franchises and IPs to list here, but some of the more familiar ones would be Lord of the Rings, Warcraft, Ghost in the Shell, Path of Exile, League of Legends, and Kingdom Death. I'm not telling you guys this to brag or name drop, I just want you guys to know that I've been doing this for a really really long time, and I'd like to put my skills and experience to use making custom reshades and ENBs for our favorite games. So for all the 100% playthroughs that I do upload on this channel, it's highly likely that there will be a reshade or ENB that goes with it, and you can get them all on my Patreon. The link for that is down below and up on the screen there. Lastly, if you do have a favorite RPG, something that you always go back to and you'd like me to create a reshade or ENB or something like that, let me know in the comments what game you want to see. The only requirements are that it has to be a PC game. So with all that out of the way, let's take a look at these reshade presets. So it goes without saying that there's always going to be one preset that I make that kind of just tweaks the base art direction of the game just a little bit. And for Assassin's Creed 3, that's the ultra preset that you guys are seeing on the screen now. The differences are subtle, but they are really, really clear. The image is a lot sharper, and the entire color range is just lifted just a little bit, maybe 5 to 10 percent. One thing that I always like to add is just a little contextual sharpening base filter that it really emphasizes the small details in the textures like the leather, the dirt on the roads, the little bumps in the stones and rocks and things like that. The second preset that I made for you guys, I kind of ended up calling it Dutch from Red Dead Redemption 2 just because the overall color palette and everything just ended up looking like that. It was really giving me Red Dead Redemption 2 vibes. Just jumping back to another ultra example right here with the foliage and stuff and then we'll dive back into a whole bunch more Dutch examples. One thing that I really like about how the Dutch preset turned out was just how dusty it made the overall vibe of the game feel, especially in the cities. And I think that the vanilla art direction already kind of felt like that. It feels dusty, but with the Dutch preset, I've really cranked that up to 11. Sometimes it can feel a little too desaturated for me, so I think this is something I'll keep tweaking and whatever updates I come up with I'll be sure to upload that to the Patreon. This was a really good example of how the ultra preset lifts up the green out of the tree on the left hand side there. And 
Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoy these showcases. I certainly enjoy putting them together. I am currently playing through Assassin's Creed 3 right now on the stream, so feel free to pop in and check out what's going on. And don't forget if you've got a favorite game or RPG that you would like me to create a reshade for, feel free to let me know down in the comments or pop into the stream and just have a quick chat real time. You guys are awesome. See you on the next one.